About a month ago, a base owned by the Blue Blaze Gang called Morkalath was found by another player. So the Blue Blaze Gang decided to self-grief their own base. After the grief took place, I decided that I wanted to go and see the ruins of this gigantic base. What I saw was absolutely incredible, and is probably one of the coolest griefs that I've ever seen. I mean, you can see, of course, the place is almost unrecognizable. There was a big, like, Eye of Sauron type thing on the very top. That is completely gone. The inner part of it is also completely gone. I wish I had been able to see a little bit more of that. If you want to see a little bit more of how the build looked before it was griefed, definitely go check out Gatsu's video. He did a great job of recording all that. And in addition to the main tower, there was also a village along with like another obsidian, crying obsidian castle thing, which looked really cool even when destroyed. In addition to getting to see this really cool base, I decided to go into the end using an end portal and go for Elytras. I was running a little bit low, so I decided I was going to go get some more. And speaking of end portals, if you need to know where any end portals are on Purity Vanilla, we made a list with Project Marco. Go check out that video, and I'll leave some links down in the description where you can find the coordinates to every end portal on Purity. Now all that adventuring brings us finally to the part that I've been spending the most time on since the last video, the Guardian Farm at the new Atlas base. I built a Guardian Farm basically all by myself using a schematic, but I cleared out the entire monument, I drained all the water, I found this machine online that would fly across the ocean a bunch of times to clear all the water source blocks so that I could sponge it. It was the longest process, oh my gosh it took so long, but here's some clips from it. It was a nightmare. But now we're, we're, we're getting Guardian materials, and it's wonderful, and it was totally worth it. And finally, bringing us up to date, I decided to go back to the ruins of the Mayor's base, where I was working on building a giant tree. I don't think I really showed it very much in the, the episode, so I don't know how much you guys have actually seen of it. But here are the ruins. And first what I wanted to do is gather materials for a box of redstone supplies that I've been wanting to make for a long time. So I used some of the, the pistons and the observers from the old farms and gathered those up. I also had a stash remnant there that I needed to move to a different location. So I went ahead and got all those supplies. There was way more than I remembered there being. So I'm really glad that I went there before somebody ended up finding it. And it is now safe in one of my other stashes. So like I said, the place where I've been spending most of my time recently is Anagen, the new base of Atlas. And I can't show very much, obviously, but here's our storage. It's looking really cool. Duality has been building it. Um, and he's been sorting all of our stuff. He's doing a real great job of keeping up with it, and I have no idea how he manages it. We got this cool little lava farm, an automatic sheep farm. You can hear all the different sheeps in there. I don't really know how exactly this thing works, but somebody set it up. This bad boy right here is mine. I built this tower. It's pretty cool, if I do say so myself. I haven't done very much in the in the downstairs section, okay? But if we go down here real quick, we can we can see the little bit that I do have. Here we are. This is about it. <laughs> so far, I've put a lot more work into the above ground part than the below ground part. I've been w really focusing on the guardian farm, and that has taken absolute ages. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that noise was. I got excited. Anyway, this is one of my favorite parts of the base. Um, it's a fantastic gold farm. I step in here sometimes. And I just gain hundreds of levels, and my stuff is instantly repaired. It's great. Thanks, Crash, for building this. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build a trading hall. Um, I'm trying to branch it off in different directions, because I love how, like, the deep dark and everything looks, and how, like, creepy this place looks. So I kind of want to build a, a trading hall like that, because I think that's really unique and different. 
I'm not totally sure if we're going to use this design or not, but I'm I'm having fun like starting to build it and starting to to, to, to mess around with it. So we'll see if we end up using it or not. Okay, so I have just logged on to Purity and it is 1.18 update. Things are laggy as heck, but I'm going to try my best to get to spawn the what used to be the Bedrock floor. See, it's not anymore. We've got all the bedrock replaced with a deep slate because that's what 1.18 does when you when you update to this version so i tried going there on my alt and it it just wasn't working out here's here's a little clip of it we'll just get pretty close to another side Oh gosh, if I die in the nether just traveling there, that'd be so sad. Oh, the chunk loading is taking a really long time right now because everybody's generating these new chunks. Everybody's changing over the old chunks to 1.18 as they load them, and it's a bit of a mess right now. You can see I'm basically x-raying. I want to go far enough that uh, there's the bedrock floor. So this used to be the bedrock floor. You can see it's all deep slate now. I wonder how this is going to change spawn because I have a feeling, you know, the PVPers and, and the, the spawn griefers and oh, the anti X-ray. Oh, we're loading so well. I have a feeling the PVPers and the and the griefers and everything are going to want to destroy this, this, this bit here. Look at this. This is below spawn right now. Oh, look at that deep slate diamond ore right below spawn. Yeah, I want to go right to zero zero, man. Holy heck! Holy heck! Look at how many wither skulls! More deep slate diamonds, yes! The spawn diamonds, I kind of want to keep these. I know I know they wouldn't sell for anything or, or become any sort of relic, but... Oh man, I just think it's so cool. Deep slate diamonds from spawn. This is within 30 blocks of spawn. Anywho, I'm really excited for the 1.18 update on this server, but that is going to cut it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!